Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And yes, you missed it. I had a bit of an incident. Uh, at first it was uh, an, uh, a good argument about structural integrity, uh, but no, this was just a stupidity moment. Uh, I was, this is actually a glass panel I was putting a glass roof on. Apparently structural integrity is not a thing. So I was taking, you taking, I was taking advantage of the situation. So I was going up here and I was putting this on. Originally, I had the glass panels on the top there because I wanted to sort of slope it up because I do want to sort of cover up that back section there, but I want to keep uh, the whole back end here behind this section clear. And so I was taking them out and I thought, well, I wanted to see if the, the gla glass would actually snap to the, the slope. And I thought I did, so I'm decided I was going to take all the panels out and start putting the slopes in, so I did that one side. It was, you know, it's like holding up, so I went across here, took the last glass panel out, the whole thing came down and crashed out, crashed my whole base here, so uh, that was a bit of an issue. Fortunately, we have backups built right into the game, so I was able to actually save everything. Thank God, I might even change that backup level from 5 to even 10 or 20 in my case, because... Uh, you never know, with some of the stuff that I build, you know, if I make a mistake or something happens, I don't want to be losing 15 or 20 hours of work, or in some cases, a week, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, speaking of what I'm doing, I do have a fair list of stuff planned, of things I'm going to do. I've already got plans for uh, a little, little sister going around here somewhere, well, not going around somewhere, but I think there are moons over there, I've got I got a plan for that one. Uh, a few other plans too, as far as like the station goes, uh, where we're going to be setting up in the beginning, and uh, as far as like other places, I don't know what I really have for the other planets. I haven't been there. I have no idea what it looks like. Uh, I don't want to spoil it until I go there, because this is the only thing I've actually seen in Space Engineers is this particular planet. Uh, as far as uh, the audio goes, uh, thank you everybody for helping me out with this one. Uh, I know it's been two years too late trying to get this going, but, you know, we're working on it. Um, I have adjusted a little bit more. Um, the, my biggest my biggest thing is, yes, I do, t I do test recordings to make sure that I'm recording and that it hasn't changed from the previous session because Discord, for some reason, likes to change things on me and has become an issue where I don't know that my... Recording level has gone from 100% down to 40%. So I try to keep an eye on that, but I always listen on my computer, and I don't actually watch YouTube on my computer. I watch on a tablet, and I never actually watch my own videos on my tablet, so I'd never actually compare it to, you know what I mean? No comparison. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, we'll try this. Uh, I've turned it up a little bit more. Uh, we can go more if you want. Uh, let me know. I just don't want to be too loud. Anyways, uh, I was thinking about this whole glass... Uh, glass roof idea and uh, because structural integrity isn't a thing uh, I'm sorry I'm looking at my keyboard trying to find out where G key, the G key is since I've never used it before apparently I'm going to start with a corner light and I'm going to see if I can use the glass panel on top of that uh, where is it here that's not the one I want I don't think it really matters but anyways because I was going to put lights in here anyways, so if I go like this, and of course make sure I have parts and composite materials, I'm going to need girders and glass as well. All right. Construction composites, there we go. Uh, girders, yes I've been making girders and glass. Uh, today we are going to get some flight going, uh, the hydrogen has been produced, it's not a whole lot, but there's about 800,000 liters, so that's, that's enough to make a couple of tanks. As far as the lights go, where do I want them? Because I got this basically, well, this side's 11, this side's 8. You know what? Maybe. Because I won't be able to put them right in the corner. But I can do that. I'll do that one, that one, and that one. And then I'm going to see only this side. And then I'm going to see if I can snap the windows right on top. So yeah, every two, and that actually works on this side. So get the jackpack out, grab a window, and I want to see if I can get right on top here. Oh, so far, so good. And all I'm going to say is it's a good thing I can do. I have backups. <laughs> so I'm going to continue on with this. If I have a disaster, I will bring you back. If not, 
and you'll see it when it's done and all lit up. Okay, well, I've run out of glass. So I've got some more going right now. But so far, yeah, it's working. Uh, it's awfully strong lights, that's all, all I'll say. But uh, you know me, I'll take advantage of it if I can. I did do a change here, too. Uh, I put two more sorters in here, uh, put a container in here, and this is just to ensure that, every, that I don't have anything in here that it actually all goes right into the assembler so I have an idea of exactly what I have and also to avoid any delays of the assembler having to wait for the materials to come through the conveyors to get here so that way uh, the refinery is always empty and that way it's always ready to go and that way we don't have to worry about this filling up I might get a couple of possibly yield upgrades on here I'm not 100% sure uh, I also did change uh, the sorters here, uh, thanks to Crystal to suggesting this, that maybe ice really is considered an ore, even though it doesn't go through the refinery, but still it's technically a mineable resource, so it could be considered an ore, so that's why I went through here. So what it is, I just uh, blacklist, uh, whitelisted each ore individually, and then ice on the other side, so hopefully this should be uh, relatively... Uh, fault free whatever brain's not working sorry need more caffeine uh yeah this is still going ahead uh i probably should adjust the lights up the uh, intensity on those it's dark right now so i can't see too much but let's go in here it's gonna be uh, corner lights do that we'll just set the radius up uh, go all the way and intensity uh, seven should be okay i can always adjust it later it is daytime right now so we won't no, and plus I get to see my uh, uh, my suit power. Yes, that's what it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we do have hydrogen. I do want to get a little docking area on the back end of this tank here, just for adding hydrogen right to the to the ships. Right, a couple of elbows out, come out here, and just have a little thing here. Uh, I want to get basically what we were doing before on the server when we get up there, get a little staging area set up where I take up. Originally, I was thinking just doing enough for a basic assembler and then work my way up to the assembler and refining all that stuff. But I'm going to take a regular assembler up there. I'm going to take. For now, I'm going to take enough to make a few solar panels and. Maybe a battery. We'll see. I might make the, ba the power cells up there. Uh, but I'll bring you back, uh, I guess, when we get up there. Uh, no point in going through the whole thing of doing it because then we know we're out be up there so I shall see you shortly all right I'm just about ready to head out I got a ship ready made and all ready to go uh, I did happen to see how the light in here at night it's actually not bad I might try to see if I can get something in here but it's not too bad I actually like that being able to see the mountains uh, when I get back eventually I'm gonna put walls on the side here but glass walls and sort of keep the glass ceiling two glass walls sort of idea uh hang on a sec sorry i had something on my mouse pad uh, anyways uh, why am i walking so slow i have no idea anyways here is the little ship i made it doesn't look too bad i'm going to keep the landing gear on there just so i can actually anchor the stuff if i need to i got a beacon on there i got a ore detector uh, same basic thing ammo and hydrogen thrusters it has been charging I also do have a whole bunch of supplies on me and in here. Uh, taking six gravity components, I actually want to make a gravity generator when we get up there. I have enough metal plates. I got base. I got everything I need to get eight solar panels and an assembler up and running. Uh, the refinery. I'm not taking anything with me because uh, that's a lot of plates and I'm pretty heavy. So I'm taking seven thousand pounds of iron and seventy-five tons. I don't know if I'm going to be light enough hmm realistically I should be leaving these behind if I've taken all that iron that's not really that the weight that's the weight right there <laughs> five tons on those things uh, let me see if I can lighten my load a little bit I am taking a couple of bottles I want to get a H2O2 generator going but let me see what I got here all right 65 so a little a little less we should be okay I should be okay though you don't have to worry about anything. No, you just have to sit there and watch the uh, watch the show. So I'm gonna turn that off. I hope I have enough enough juice. Turn those on and off we go. I had a bit of an incident. I undocked without turning my engines on. 
But what I want to do, and maybe go closer this way, is sort of have an idea of something I want to do. Where is that? That's uh, up there. And honestly, I could probably do it here. But I want to go basically straight up from around here. And I want to start building the station at whatever asteroid happens to be there. Because I have a plan. Sometime down the road, I have a plan. So I'm going to go up. And I shall meet you at the top. Okay, here we are. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this is exactly where we came out of gravity. Uh, I wanted to have one of these rocks on this side. Uh, they're still about 0.5.6 or 0 0.0506. So I can't use those, but this is where we're going to have to set up. Now, I'm not going to give any spoilers. We're going to see how it goes when the time comes. But I'm going to work my way here and I'll meet you when we get there. Okay, here we are, and there's iron and what looks like nickel, so this is actually a good spot to be at. I might actually go around and prospect, but right now is why I have a landing gear on this thing, because this way I can park it. Uh, one of the things I realized is I didn't bring any radio components with me, so I don't know if I can make a beacon. I might have to take the one off this ship and plant it somewhere, but I want to be basically on the top. So I'm going to go on this way and it'd be nice if the camera actually reset to where you had it positioned. And I am doing this for a particular reason. And I'm going to try to do something interesting here. But it's a matter of time before that happens. Uh, let's see, where do I want to set up? Hmm. Be a good spot right up top here. What I want to do is, last time I tethered to an asteroid, I want to sort of be built on top or in the asteroid. Okay, I cannot. So hard to judge the distances. This thing's huge. Definitely. Alright, well, I want to go over here. So I'm going to try to block this thing without breaking it like I did last time. Uh, let's see here. Turn those off. Get out, and yes, I made sure to turn my helmet back, lower my helmet. So, I wanted to, oh, wait, hold on. Planets there. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with getting out some plates and some blocks and laying out a, a grid platform for now because I don't have too many resources at the moment. So, I'll bring you back when I got something. Alright, so I decided to set it up here at the top. This is kind of working out for what I want to do. So I'm going to park the ship on the top for now so I know where it is. I do, like I said, have to get a beacon placed down somewhere. I don't exactly know what I need for uh, said radio comms devices or whatever they are. But I think I have nickel on here so we should be good to go. Alright, and that is connected. Turn those off because I don't want to be wasting my hydrogen. And hop out. So now let's actually see if we do have nickel around here. That's not my drill. Uh, I think I actually had it on the hot bar, but whatever. I should never leave my hot bar in the first place. Yeah, um, yeah, I got the beacon there. Let's go take a quick look around, see what we have. This is a big rock. Really big one. Could do some fun stuff with this. I know we got an iron. Uh, I think I saw a nickel here somewhere. Two deposits of nickel, actually. And I'm going around with my jetpack because it's a hell of a lot cheaper than going around in the ship. There we go. I think that's nickel. Oh, is that gold? It's gold. I'm rich. Too bad I'm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I thought I had nickel on here. That's okay, I do have 
some stuff on me. Anyways, that is it. So uh, I'm gonna get a few machines set up, and I'll bring you back uh, when I'm done. Okay, I got some solar panels up and built, and I have the assembler done, almost done. Actually, I gotta go ahead and uh, start making up some plates here. Actually, I need a lot of plates. Is that refinery? And I'm also looking at trying to get that gravity generator up and running because I don't like floating here. Uh, gravity generator. Let's see what I need for it. Find out as soon as I actually get on the hot bar. Where is it? There we go. Okay, and we will steel plate. Can do. And add gravity components. It's funny, the things that actually create gravity actually weigh so much. Maybe it's just the, the mass of them themselves that actually create the gravitational pull. Plates. I'll take those. And I think I need large steel tubes. I think I've got enough. No, I didn't. I'll have to make a few. And maybe we'll go check that out if we got time. Not gonna take the ship. Okay, uh production. And let me make a few of those. Cancel that for now. And I do that. Be nice to be able to actually change the queue a little bit. Computers. Alright, hopefully this will be it. Oh uh, yeah, it's a good thing I didn't rely on getting nickel up here. Alright. Uh, not enough power. Haha, <laughs> go figure. Alright, let's... And uh, we have gravity. Hooray, perfect. And I got charge up. So, uh, I'm gonna take care of something here and I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. Energy is a lifesaver in this game. But this is why I wanted to put the gravity generator here. Have the station active dock to it so I can actually run around the asteroid. Uh, I believe that generator should have enough range to actually do most of the rock, realistically. I want to, I can go run down here and fall down and hurt myself. Why do I still have the big boots on? It shouldn't be that. There's a gravity generator. Where is it? I'm lost. <laughs> oh my god, I'm lost. No. It's around here somewhere. There it is. Oh, power. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to get some battery uh, power cells up and running. Uh, what do they cost? Nickel and silicon. Oh well, we'll have gravity during the day. Anyways, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Sorry, sorry, that was uncalled for. I admit, that's cool. I didn't know these things actually worked on the asteroids. Um, yeah, let me uh, dump some stuff off here. Let's go run that off. Run, go hit that up. Go chase after it. Oh, actually, I need that. Got two of those. Interesting, I haven't used the bottle yet. That's cool. Anyway, let's go check it out. Oh. Okay. I thought my boots were still on. So we shouldn't take too long to get there. Fortunately, the beacon on my ship will still be running, so I'll find a way back. For now. And then eventually I'll have, the station will be so big. And I just realized that this could be something that could kill me. I'll right, we'll find out shortly. Uh, maybe what I'll do... Do a little cheaty here. I'm gonna do a save. Okay. I'm pretty sure every time you do a save, it does a backup. Okay, and let's try not to hit it at 100 miles an hour. Because I won't see it coming because I see the, the beacon marker. I don't see 
the thing I'm about to hit. And you got no engine, so you're not gonna go anywhere, are you? No, you're not. Watch it be a bomb. And what do I get? This is the first time I've ever gotten one of these out in space. Motors. Well, this comes in handy. And anything good? No. And they're scrapped me, which is good because I could use the parts. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll see if I can get a. See what I can do here. I'll bring you back. All right. Well, I've been up here for about I don't know an hour or so, and I found some ice, found some nickel. Both are about twenty some k away. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be cutting it close here. It's gonna take me about a minute to get back. I did get the H2O2 generator up and running. Uh, I may put a cryo, cryo chamber there just in case something happens. At least I don't have to build another ship to come back up here. Uh, so far, no uranium. Nothing yet. Uh, tons of magnesium. There's gold everywhere. Lots of ice. So I'm good on that front. Uh, still got to find, find the uranium. But, uh, yeah, just sharing you the bad news. Uh, I think I should... I should make it. We'll find out. Alright, well, the uranium hunt hasn't been the greatest. I did find a, a nickel deposit closer by. Where was that one? It wasn't too far away, like 6k or something. There we go. 8.7. Uh, again, a lot of ice, a lot of magnesium, a, lot of, yeah, a fair amount of iron out there. I haven't found any silicon yet, but I haven't found any uranium. Uh, so I'm going to have to do some more exploration off camera, try to f figure it out because I want to get a jump drive going. I have yet to explore, like I said. I do want to check out the moon, see what that's all about. I know that that was supposed to be a good area for, for uranium. So check that out. I do have platinum up there too. I think I need that for something, but I just hopped back in here to... Uh, charge up my jetpack but what we're going to do before we end the episode uh, because I don't have any silicon to make power cells off the probably going to have to go back down to the surface and bring a load up of silicon and nickel maybe at least silicon for sure uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. let's uh, go ahead and get a refinery up I do have all, enough plates made just not to hold all at once. So I do have the, uh, like I said, I got the O2, H2O2 generator going. And it's just a matter of finding the right block in this case. Uh, scrolling in this menu is a little on the aggressive side. That was, yeah, like, sure, let's do it that way. I thought, no, oh, whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot this is uh this is a big boy. I totally forgot about that. Alright. Let's flip you around. Let's make you a reasonable color. Uh how did I even get red in the first place? I have no idea. Whatever, a blue refinery, that's a first. Yeah, how did it go red? That's a good question. And, uh, yes, the realistic sounds, I do like them a lot better. I was noticing they were a little different down the surface, because when I was picking stuff up, it sounded like it was muffled like it is. That could have been an audio issue. <laughs> I love these boots. Uh, I guess we're out of power. Anyway, let me finish up the refinery, and I'll bring you back. You know what I'm going to have to do, and I was thinking about actually doing this, but I got this technically going the wrong way. I uh, probably should have had the solar panel rig on this way and then having them on two sides, this side here and uh, heart, heart flutters a little bit doing that that still messes me up, you know that uh, but yeah, I uh, have another one on this side here but anyways, that is fine because we should be generating juice in a second here come on Give me some solars. I'm sure if I had them on a rotor set at like the slowest speed possible, like 
point zero one meters a second or something like that. Okay, I'll be able to uh, get it timed out to work. Come on, any power. Any time now. I need iron too. I'll have to go mine some down there once you get this this thing up and built. But hang on. This is taking forever. I'm almost done here, but look at that. For, look how fast that's going. I actually expect you to catch that. I guess you could with a jump drive. Sadly, I haven't found uranium yet. Uh, right. More metal grids. This thing's almost done. I'm having power issues all computers. Why don't you tell me that in the first place? Why don't you tell me metal grids? Okay, put those away. Computers, thank you. Alright, now I got a big blue refinery. Yes, it's all built. Okay, go ahead. And we'll throw that nickel in there and watch me run out of power. I guess I'll turn the gravity back on. And. Yes, I'm out of power. The refinery hogs it all. But, anyways, yeah, like I said, we're going to call the episode here. Uh, I made sure to put a beacon here somewhere, did I not? Yes, right there. Home. Yeah, so uh, next episode, I think, uh, get some batteries going. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to get some uranium s somewhere around here. And then we got a jump drive going to go check out another planet for the first time ever in my life in this game. That is. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Later. Ha ha ha. That's so fun.